So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week nine, and we're going to be looking at the Eververse. I do apologize that I didn't do a video last week for the seasonal challenges. I just got so busy with the exotic armor videos that I just, I could have, I could have sworn I made that video and put it up, but obviously I didn't. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I usually do this every week. Usually, like I say, uh, mostly just so if people are not in front of their computer or their console, I can, you, they can watch this video and see what's up. So. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. And other than that, let's get into it. So for week nine, you are looking at warm resolve, which is complete res uh, sever resolve using only solar subclass and solar kinetic or stasis weapons. The way I usually handle this one is I, I have my solar subclass for my kinetic. I use a kinetic weapon for my first weapon for my second weapon. It'll usually be solar. And then for the heavy, it'll be stasis. So that way I can just do all of that and make sure you don't pick up uh the the scythe this one it doesn't really matter since you're using solar stuff but just to be on the safe side just don't use it at all uh if the, if it's available next one is cabal tactics on the derelict leviathan defeat combatants with rocket launch rocket launcher final blows and rapidly defeat combatants in groups of three or more this one depending on how they actually have it calibrated might take you a long long time or might take you like five minutes depending on how it's calibrated because again there's like for week two we still have the leviathan chest i still haven't completed this and best believe i've been playing this game so i'm only at 50 sex which is really wild uh, for the next one, it's armor, armory wide calibration, calibrate kinetic energy and power weapons, bonus progress against champions. This one would really be good if you do it, did it in, in like a nightfall, just because you will see champions there. Uh, for the next one, it's solar gambit, defeat tar targets with solar effects, bonus progress for defeating guardians. This one might be a little annoying for some people because again, it's gambit. Uh, but if you want to do it, might as well. I'm going to do it just because I play gambit, but I will understand if you skip this one. Uh, solar Vanguard defeat combatants with solar effects and Vanguard playlist. Not too hard as well. You might as well be completing Solar Vanguard with armory wide calibration. Uh, yeah, actually, that's it. I think those are the only two you can do. You can really do together for. Oh, I should probably mention for the Vanguard one and for the armory one, you might as well be doing the Nightfall. So that way you can get champions, but you can do it on strikes as well. Uh, last but not least trial by firing squad to win multiple rounds in trials of osiris this one is going to be annoying for some people because trials is kind of doo-doo butter but it is what it is it is what it is uh i was thinking about going through week eight but eh, fuck it let's just do it real quick shocking for shocking shocking forgiveness complete sever forgiveness using only an arc subclass and arc kinetic or stasis weapons Again, same thing, use an arc subclass, uh, use a kinetic, then an arc weapon, and then a heavy stasis, and that's it. Uh, Vestiges of Dread 3, Vestiges of Dread to get 2,500, and then 80 materials. This one's on hard. I completed this when the week was live. Uh, pinnacle, you just honestly just hit your pinnacle and you'll, you'll get this. I am still haven't hit my pinnacle because I think I'm missing like boots or something like that. Uh, umbral focusing all you have to do is focus weapons and focus armor not too hard but it is a little bit on the annoying side uh, widespread calibration calibrate trace rifles and shotguns bonus progress for for rapidly defeating targets and defeating guardians this one you can get literally anywhere and then last but not least gambit ornament acquire the gambit ornament for chain of command which is the lmg the seasonal weapon again some people might skip this which is more than fair i'm I think I'm almost done with this one, so pretty wild. Uh, funny thing too is there's challenges for Solstice. I mean, obviously, if you just buy this outright, I don't think you have to do this, but that, yeah, this is fun, I guess. I don't know. For Eververse, we're looking at the Tangerine Gloss, which I'm not the biggest fan of the shader. I will be reviewing this armor literally right after I'm done with this video, so don't worry about this. This actually might be going up today. Uh, Beach ball effects, which it's just a beach ball. Happy smiles, which whatever. Breathe in, which I I'm thinking about getting this one because it's super cool. But for three thousand, they can eat my ass. Uh, for the bottoms, we have breach header six. I think that is, which is pretty cool. But it's just a shader difference, and like this up here is different, I guess uh soul piercer which that looks cool is that's from last year too 
uh black light razor which can't does that sh okay so that doesn't change color that's unfortunate uh jubilant shell for the sh for the ghost which looks whatever's uh guarding guarding glaive okay and then festival dance now what's really cool is you actually get the regal daring shader which is the shader that you see right now i think this is really cool i'm really excited to use this hopefully there's golds in there there should be considering the gold in this armor does change colors so i'm hoping this is going to be a really good like red and gold shader that we have because we don't actually have any red and gold shaders uh, outside of uh, new monarchy which is unobtainable so that's fun grand luster i would highly suggest if you don't have this one scoop it up it's a really good shader uh wielded brass which that looks pretty cool not gonna lie and then oiled algae this one i definitely recommend i recommend the other one a little bit more because i i feel like the the black one is just way better but then we get to solstice stuff which is the glows from this year the glow from is this the glow this is yeah this is the glow from last year this is the glow from two years ago and this oh that's it okay so you don't have the ones from from year one or two that's unfortunate but at least you get the ones from last year and two years ago this one's really cool too i really recommend this one just because it's super cool but i'm not gonna lie man that glow video is not gonna be positive as fuck i'm gonna tell you right now this glow does not look good in my opinion the only one that looks like the only glow that looks good is the chest piece and the helmet for the hunters i haven't seen the warlock or titan yet we're gonna look at that when uh when i'm reviewing the armor but yeah that's pretty much it for eververse let me know what you guys think in the comments below i will be doing probably some tutorials for the video for for the armor itself because again they do give it to you in purple form which i'm very thankful for i was dreading this like i was like i'm not excited to run blue and then purple and then upgrade the purple like i'm just happy that they give you the purple immediately which means that upgrading upgrading it to the glows is not going to be super super terrible hopefully but uh let's actually see no it shouldn't be here it should be in season of the haunted it should be here no where would it be no 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 i'm trying to see if they well flame keeper that's what it's called that's pretty cool i'm pretty sure this is the is this reveler oh okay so reveler is the yeah fuck that dude i'm not doing all this shit fuck that i'm not doing that at all but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media all its links are in the description below i i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not i'm not really that excited for this just because i'm to be to be quite honest with y'all uh my biggest gripe with this event it's just the fact that the event card's like 10 bucks and i'm like what like why did we need this like did we need this um i don't know it might be a little nitpicky you guys might be like oh you're just being nitpicky i get it but at the same time like i paid like two three hundred dollars for for witch queen because i got the collector's edition and then just seeing like an extra 10 bucks for an event on top of you know they already sell all this shit it's just very it's icky i guess the best word would be like it's just gross like i would have loved if the glows was just in game like I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. I thank you for coming to this point. I'll see you guys later.